features. More features. Once upon a time, we were proud servants of the scope creep. We briefed the scope creep. We praised the scope creep. We were the scope creep. We fled from its never-endingly refined claws and went on our game dev adventures. But have we really escaped? The scope creep has cursed us. You, you need to make a pointless feature every now and then or pay a fine of 73 cents. And we had no change with us. And this is why we decided to misuse Conway's game of life as a fancy looking dance floor. Do not believe any other stories. But seriously, cellular automata are an incredibly powerful tool for procedural generation. And this is a great entry point to it. So stay with us. We need two things here, code and graphics. I will make squares. So the main idea is the following. Imagine you have a two-dimensional grid that changes over time iterations. With each iteration, each cell follows globally set rules about what to do in the next iteration. The decision is dependent on their own state, like regular automata. But they can also spy on their neighbors. The classic game of life has really simple rules that result in incredibly complex outcomes. Each cell is either alive or dead. First, you count your neighbors. A live cell with two or three neighbors stays alive, otherwise it dies. A dead cell with exactly three live neighbors comes to life. In any other case, it stays dead. You can, of course, vary this a lot and get interesting results. It really is worth trying. So, how are the squares going? Nice, I guess. I mean, there is a tool for this and it took like three seconds. And only because I spent two seconds looking for it and I missed it once. <laughs> Great scope creep. Will you accept my sacrifice? No! Design more! I need another moment. Okay then. We use a time map for our two-dimensional grid. With each beat of the music, we calculate another iteration. Okay, every cell needs to make a decision. We can simply iterate them based on the size of our map. We count their neighbors in the simplest way possible and just use two for loops. You can use get cell to get a tile ID. If it is zero, the cell is alive. We use an enum here to make it a bit more readable and so that we can add fancy states later on. Now we simply make a decision based on the state of the current cell, which we get by asking the time up again, and based on the results of the counting. And here comes the only point where people sometimes make mistakes. We cannot simply change the tile just yet, because this will mess with the counting of cells coming later. I mean, we can, no one can stop us, but it will produce really strange results. You can solve this by using a second time map to copy your results to. Actually, this is quite nice for us. With only a single time map, it is very hard to fade individual tiles smoothly. But since we have two anyways, we can just use a tween to crossfade them. Isn't that a smooth transition? How are the graphics going? I squared! I tried a few different patterns with varying alpha values. I really like the ones with the checkerboard aesthetic. Also, I think it looks better when there is a separation of one or two pixels between the tiles. Oh, and then I decided these 16x16 16 16 size tiles are actually too small. So I made the 32 by 32 pixel size tile that I'm pretty happy with now. So scope creep, we did it. Are you pleased now? No. What? We need to polish it. Yes. Polish more. I admit there is a little problem. If you start a game, nothing happens. This is not because we coded wrong. YouTube superpowers make us basically perfect. This is because nothing lives. So nothing can procreate. We could make an initialization, but I don't think scope creep will allow that. We just check every frame where the player is and turn on the field below. For this we use the world to map function. Also, let us do the opposite for enemies, because they suck all the life out of the game or something. Pretty neat. We can also change the color every round and suddenly our game does not look lifeless and boring anymore. Wait, it already is far too diarrhea Christmas lights. Oh, well then. I. Think we will find a place to put it? Maybe you guys have an idea. Let us know. Also, the game we are building right now is called First of Us Fungin. You can wishlist it on Steam if you like. 